please state your name for the record. My name is Ryan Cummings. About how many escape rooms have you done in your lifetime? Oh man, at this point, I might be at a dozen. Woo! Yeah, I would say about that. Pro. <laughs> Not like you, but... What I saw in there was a pro today. Um, <laughs> and what room are you reviewing today? Today we did, I might need your help. Um, I don't remember the company. It is Get the F Out. Get the F Out is the company. Get the F Out, and we just did the experiment. We did? Yes. And so as far as the experiment goes, how would you compare the puzzles and technology in this room as compared to past rooms you've done? Puzzles and technology. Low technology, um, which is fine. Um, they did incorporate some technology, I would call it, in a really unique way. Um, but the puzzles were more, um, you know, you're unlocking a lot. Like, there was a lot of uh, combinations to be figured out. Uh, I don't think I'm giving anything away by saying that. But um, So it was a lot of, uh, kind of like, you know, you're looking for a lot of different combinations. That's mm -hmm. what I'm saying. How would you rate the theme, decoration, and immersion of this room as compared to the rooms you've done? Was I supposed to rate those, the puzzles? Yeah. Just to give it a rating? How were the puzzles? They were good. They were, um, they definitely made you think. Like you had to like look around the room, you had to definitely be touching a lot and turning things over. Um, there was one aspect of this room that I thought was very cool and it had to do with the very beginning before they even let you in. Like that was a really cool aspect I thought. Um, but that being said, uh, I would rate it you know, medium to high. And then the next question was? The theme, decoration, and immersion. Um, you know, I, I felt like for the space, considering we're in downtown LA, I thought they did a really good job, you know? Um, I don't feel like I got taken away, you know, to another land, but I definitely felt like I was in an escape room, and, you know, I feel like they did a really nice thing with, um, you know, ma making it themed, and uh, a couple cool things happened, like when you would solve or unlock something, all of a sudden, like, something, the room would change a bit, which I thought was really cool. So I would rate that to be uh, medium. Okay. Version. Yeah. How do you rate the difficulty? Uh, too hard, too easy, or about right? I mean, we got out. We only had a few minutes to spare. So I wouldn't say too hard. We did need one hint um, because there was something that we didn't think to do. Uh, but, you know, I'd go between just right and too hard. So maybe just hard. Okay. Yeah. Uh, how'd you rate your personal enjoyment of this room? I really enjoyed it. It was just you and I, which was fun. And um, considering it was just the two of us and we were able to get out with only one hint, I think that that's pretty good. Um, you know, I, I, I did like the puzzles. I felt like there were a couple that, you know, maybe I took a little too long on. And then there were some that I figured out really quick, which was great. Um, so in that regard, I had a great time. All right. Uh, would you recommend this room to other people? Definitely. Really fun. I want to come back and do the other room that they have, which is called the Virus. Sorry. Yes. Definitely want to do that. You know, I really enjoyed um, the vibe here, so I would definitely come back. I would recommend it. Is there anyone you would not recommend it to? Um. Well, so at one point, you know, um, one of the people which they tell you when you're going in, um, you're going to be in a dark room, so if you don't like that, be careful. Uh, you don't have to be that person. It's not like you're forced to do that. Um, but otherwise though, you know, I would do it. It's, it's, I don't like horror rooms and this was not that. Um, it was more adventure and uh, I like that. So uh, there wouldn't be anybody I wouldn't, I would tell not to do this. Okay. Yeah, I would recommend it. Uh, how would you rate your personal performance in this room? I would give myself a B plus. Like I said, I took a little long on a few things that I felt like I should have been a little snappier on. Um, we did need a hint. Uh, which I wish we didn't, but uh, it made sense once we got it. And, uh, you know, I thought I did okay, so B+. Plus. Yeah. How would you rate your partner's performance in this room? I mean, right. You're an A+. Plus. You're, right. You're better than me. Uh, I would actually say, I don't know about that. You, you, maybe, no offense, don't take offense to this, but maybe A-, minus, only because we needed a hint? I mean, that's only fair, right? I'd, I'd juxtapose us. I'd say that you were better than me in this room. Okay. Because we have different skill sets, but yours is more important for this room. Interesting. Okay. Well, that. hey, great. So, uh, B+. I'm going to give you a B+. Okay. All right. 
Uh, we uh, narrated my performance also. Uh, and last question, without giving away any specifics, what advice would you give to fellow room solvers to best increase their chances of success in this room? Ooh, uh, that's a tough one without giving anything away, so I'll let you get to think about that for a second. Um, I would read, you know, this is your standard escape room advice, but read everything. Um, I would uh, not get too caught up in some of the decoration, because there's a lot of decoration. Um, try a couple different things out while you're trying to solve puzzles, because we had some success doing that. And, uh, you know, definitely uh, read the writing on the wall. All right. Thank you very much. You're welcome.